I put a poll out on Twitter, YouTube, and they both came back with the same results. Let your daughter choose what team you're going to be. And here's what they decided. So we are Bayern Munich. We have been hired as the Bayern Munich manager. Look at all those trophies. This is not going to be a challenge, Super. Why are you the, one of the best teams in the German league? You might as well have just been Man City. I've set myself a challenge. We've got Harry Kane coming. And with that, I've said to myself, let's go win the Champions League. Also, I want to win the FBN Kels. So that's four trophies, Super Cup, Bundesliga, German Cup. Sorry, I don't know their names. And then you've got the Champions League. So at the moment, we've got Nabry as our striker. So it's really important that we get Kane in at some point. I am playing real world game mode so he will be coming in on when's that uh just before the super cup which would be handy he probably won't start because he i don't know if he'll have match fitness but we've also got kim min jay i liked him in last football manager i have brought him in a couple of times so yeah should be interesting we do have loads of players going ryan gravenberch sane they're all still with us we can play them in our preseason. what's our point hey and then we've got mitzel sebitza well, that could be a dangerous let go because we've let him go to Dortmund, who's one of our rivals title challengers. So we've got some players here on their last year in contract. Nua, would we want to keep him? I mean, he's injury prone now. He hasn't played that much last season. He's 37. I mean, look at those stats. Brilliant goalkeeper. And then we've got Thomas Muller, Montang, Utec, and no one really else to really consider. And then we've got some injuries. Rafael Guerrero, he's coming in from Dortmund, but he is out for possibly seven to seven weeks to three months. And Nua is out for two to three months. And then this is our preseason. So we're playing Schalke. Hamburg, 1860 Munich, a lot of second and third division teams. And then a big game against Red Bull Leipzig. And I think another one, our next big game is going to be against Dortmund. Another poll I put out on Twitter and YouTube, I think I put them out on both, was what tactic is everyone going to start off with? And it was clear winner, 4 3 3. You know, well, I kept it basic of what my ask was, and 4 3 3. So I was like, okay, I'm going to play 4 3 3. But actually, when I looked at building my team, I've got three really good centre back. Now, how am I going to deploy them? All right, let's go have a look. And here you go. Here's the standard 4 3 3. This is how it would kind of look at. I don't really have the goalkeeper available to me. I do. I mean, there's two play uh, goalkeepers going on the transfers. So that with Nua being injured, I kind of need a new goalkeeper. So that's been left blank for the meantime. So I've got the 3 3 3, but because I've got the three centre backs in Upcano, Delit, and uh, Min Jae, I'm kind of going between the two of 3 4 3 3. One would have to be dropped, or I could play a 3 5 2 or 3 4 3 formation. Sports Interactive have listened, they have now revamped set pieces. It's scary because I never really knew what to do on set pieces anywhere. I just watched YouTube videos or took what people was doing for the in meta near post headers. Obviously last football manager, that didn't work so well. And then I got bored of trying to work out a way of doing set pieces because actually our options was very limited. However, we now have more complications to set pieces. I've heard that set pieces can now be more complicated of how you actually want it to be played or you can still get it automated. I will probably want to hire a staff who's good at set piece coaching, if that's possible. So here we go. So what do we have here? I've got assistant manager asking me some questions. I'm not going to read them out, but we've basically got what defensive marking strategy do you prefer? We've got zonal marking, player marking or hybrid. I'm presuming that just sort of pop up there, pros and cons. But zonal marking, I would presume is in zones. Player marking is specific players and hybrid is a bit of both. So that you might have certain players that you want to mark interesting. And also you've got staff preference as well, well above hybrid. So it must be a uh, preference for our assistant manager. So we chose hybrid for now. What post do you want players marking whilst defending? So we've got both posts, near post and no post. Staff preference is no post. I would probably go near post just for those near post headers. How many players do you like to leave forward when defending a set piece? Defend for bot, counter attack, 
or balanced? Uh, I would love to probably push for counter-attack, but it makes me nervous, so I'm going to go balanced. How do you prefer for ball to be delivered from attacking set pieces? Far post, central, near post. I wonder if the near post is going to work well. Do we go near post? Maybe central? Nah, near post. How many players do you want to leave back defending during attacking set pieces? Defend, transition, stay high or balanced? Hmm. The defend transition, that just be more players back. Stay high is two people back and then balance is probably two and a half. Balanced again. How do you want your set pieces to be delivered into the penalty area? Out swinger or in swinger? I would say out swinger on that one. Turn you can't just make the set piece decide what, what one they want to do. But I'm pretty sure that you can choose plenty of routines anyway. So we know that we need to bring in a set piece case just because while well, I try and learn it and I'll try and learn it in the background, I'll watch some videos. Well, I was looking at what coaches that we have. We've got two assistant managers. We've got one coach and we've got a goalkeeper coach and we've got 100,000 bloody fitness coaches. So my team should be quite fit. So I was just looking at how the training is going. And as you can see, shot stopping is only one and a half star. That is our weakest area of coaching. So on that note, I need two coaches, set piece coach and a goalkeeper coach. So let's go have a look at this. Let's do new search, pick attributes. We want to highlight for key attributes for particular role that we're looking for. As you can see, it selects all the disease and puts them as 15. Is there anyone? Yes, there's two goalkeeping coaches that we can bring in. Amazing. So we've got Hugo Oliveira. He looks pretty good, all 15s. And then he has a good mental state as well. And then on a bit of a less money, it would be a bit more affordable for us, but not so good is Ata Uru. And I'm just comparing their stats and I was wondering if we could get better on goalkeeper shot stopping and just bring down their other stats and see if anyone's around. Well, is anyone a 20 in goalkeeper shot stopping? And we found a really old coach, age 66, Andre Ametrano. He looks pretty good, especially in the coaching side of things. Good career. Well, not big career, but he's played, which is always a good hindsight. And then we found Victor Valdez. He's meant to be a manager. That's what he wants to be. But obviously just retired. I thought, you know what? Let's try and give him that opportunity to become a goalkeeper coach with Bayern Munich. And there we have it. Just like click of a finger, we have signed our goalkeeper coach, Victor Valdez. Welcome to the club. We continue with the goalkeeper theme. We've brought in a coach. Now we're going to bring in a player. Who is it going to be? It's going to be a free transfer. Can you guess it? We are going for David De Gea. So he wants 45k and a backup. Amazing stuff. Look at his stats. He is pretty good for a backup goalkeeper to newer, or actually newer, newer through his experience. He's got better stats I've found anyway, and probably suit sweeper keeper more than David De Gea. But this is amazing. And he wants to come to us. And again, click of a finger. There we have it. We have signed David De Gea. He welcome to Bayern Munich. So we brought in a goalkeeper coach and now we've brought in a goalkeeper. I think Bayern Munich lost this, didn't they? Gongaretska. De Gea gets it. Still got Kane to come on. He will definitely play a part. Sunny corner. Up Carno. Yeah. 2-0. Free down. Could come back. Mazura. Sala. 4-0. Right, Mr. Kane, 4-0. Sané's not playing too well. So what we'll do is we'll put Masala on for left, Nabri on for right, and Kane is going to go up top. I feel like in the gameplay, that they've... I don't feel there's much difference apart from they've kind of given a... Oh, 
Kane <laughs> on his debut gets a goal, makes it five. Yeah, as I was saying, for graphics, it feels like that it's been just sheeted. It's got a layer of some, I don't know, um, I don't know, it's got like a grey layer over it, like a film, a frosted film, that's the one. Kane. Nice. Oh, we won our first trophy in FM24. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, we are Bayern Munich. We're expected to win for trophies. My aim of this save is in the first season, can Kane win us the Champions League? But it's nice. It's nice to start with a trophy. It's good to start with a bigger team as well, just to get a feel for the tactics. Obviously, we're going to do that unemployed, unknown to Icon. But this is great. Good start to our FM24 career. Considering real life, Bayern Munich lost us. A few games down the line from our Super Cup victory. We played Red Bull Leipzig again. We're away and we lost our first game of the season. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Here are the stats. I think we was the much better team. We did not deserve it. I'm going to show you for highlights. We had pure domination. We had the attacks. And as soon as we got a man sent off, they went off and got two goals. And this is how it happened. So. Did you see it? Did you see it? I'm going to play that again for you. Let's just jump back. Watch Kimmich. He pushes. He pushes Olmo. Not even with a ball, he just pushes him deserves to be sent off. Disgusting. Things are going well. So I have nothing to complain about. We're top of the table. We've won a trophy. We're still in Champions League. We're still in for cup. Everything's to play for. But I have a win. We are hitting for woodwork far too many times. Like between one and four times a game. Every single game I'm hitting woodwork. What is going on? Again, it's that early access, it's a beta, maybe it's a bug, maybe it will be fixed. Maybe it's something that we, they want in the game, or I'm just having bad luck. Right, here's number one, Masala. Donk. Ah. And then we have number two coming up now. Oh, it's a good shot. Unlucky inside of the box, it just didn't quite go inside. Number three. How did that not go in? Goalkeeper beaten and post. We need to invest in our future and this player, rightly so, we have given Jamal Masala a brand new contract, five years, brilliant player. He's just going to get better and better. He's going to become world-class. We have qualified Champions League group. We came top of the group, Group F, I believe it was, and we won five games, drawn one, we got 16 points again miles clear absolutely miles clear look at that 16 goals three against the highlight game here for me was beating man united at old trafford if you like this type of content you know what you need to do if a video I like so it goes out to the world and if you would like to watch more content like this then hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next one have a good day